Horsing Around, brought to you by Roy Fry Western Lifestyles, dressing Northeast Kansas their Western best for over 57 years. Good morning and welcome to the show. Gina, it's good to see you good again. Good to see you. Okay, uh, drought, uh, a shortage of forage, but we still got to feed our horses. What, we, what do we got to do? Well, we've got to find ways to make our hay go further. Um, a lot of us don't have enough hay to get through the winter. We can use um, some products that have hay built in them. Um, you're going to have to feed a higher amount, but it's well worth it to supplement that hay because forage is the main part of a horse's diet. Now, um, is any forage okay or should we be talking about quality forage over quantity forage? Quality is always important, but the problem is when there's a shortage, you have to take what you can get, so we have to do the best with what we have. Um, we're always going to want to make sure that if we use something like a legume, like alfalfa, that we do, or we're not dealing with the blister beetles, that we are you know, free and clear from them. They're very toxic to horses. They can kill a horse instantly. So we have to make sure that our hay is free from pests and dust and mold. That's huge for horses. Now, um, horses are different from cattle, um, have a more tender mouth. So maybe some of the corn stalks that that you see people bailing this year just because there is no forage out there. What about something like that? Well, we usually try and keep, you know, we probably wouldn't recommend that for the reason of impaction colic. In the wintertime, um, when the horses generally go down, cut down to about 50% of the water intake that they usually have, the corn stalks can get impacted in them and they can colic easier. So we're going to try and still keep them on a hay diet. That's, okay. our, that's our number one priority. Now, uh, there are some feeds out on the market that do have some hay built into them. Why don't you tell us about those? There's hays, there's, there's feed for each lifestyle. Um, they have feed for younger horses all the way to older horses that have hay actually built in. And they um, are something you should definitely consider during this drought that we're going through um, to supplement the hay that we have and to make it go further. Now, are we talking about more rations or less rations if, if we're feeding that feed? In volume, we're gonna feed more mm -hmm. than a typical, very concentrated feed. We're gonna feed more of this that has the forage built in. And then uh, you touched on something and I wanna make sure everybody understands is uh, ponds dried out pretty, pretty uh, relatively soon this summer just for the heat, so we wanna make sure that we've got good, clean, fresh water. Absolutely, our tanks need to be clean if we wouldn't drink out of it. We shouldn't expect our animals to. We want to make sure they're clean. We want to make sure the water temperature is suitable to the horses. If it's too cold, um, it limits their drinking. If it has ice in it, of course it limits their drinking. And snow should never ever be a um, something that you just count on that your horse can, you know, paw the snow and drink it. That's never enough. Um, and like the winter time, they drink less than in the summertime anyways. They might go from 25 gallons down to 10 gallons a day. So we want to make sure that they are drinking and staying hydrated. And creating possible windbreaks also as the wind kind of comes through for the winter also. Oh, absolutely. At least a three-sided shelter um, to keep mostly the north wind off of them. That can help a lot. They do grow a big furry coat, but that wind can really cut through that coat and it can cause them to use burn a lot more energy. So we want to make sure that we are keeping them warm enough. Which means we just have to feed them more to keep them warmer. Well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Feed them as much as you can. Yeah. Now, if you have a question for uh, Gina in regards to uh, equine health or, or any issues that deal with horses, go to our website, which is agamatkansas.com. Click the Contact Us button, fill out the form, and I'll get the information to her. And we'll answer your question on, on camera.